Hello, y'all. I'm Diana Brienne. So let's go for Wisdom on the Run. I've got my running shoes on, and it's a gorgeous, gorgeous day. And so let's go for Wisdom on the Run. Oh, here we go again. Oh, my goodness. <laughs> yeah, every day. Every day. Okay. But at least I get through. Um, I have to pass by this way. Otherwise, I have to go out into the street area, and I don't like to do that. So, but the dog's fenced in. It's a... It's one of the homes um, that is kind of behind our property and so there's a open area that's all for the public it's trails and uh and that's what i go on the public part oh you're either on my property or the public part so but nonetheless people most dogs are wonderful there's some wonderful dogs on this trail they come out to greet me in the morning but that's not one of them <laughs> we had an amazing day yesterday we took a trip through north carolina and i put that up on youtube and it was just wonderful and so i put that trip up on um youtube and uh, then we stopped at the end of the day at one of our favorite favorite bar restaurants and i called the biker bar and all the food is so good so good so now i'm back on my my diet, my healthy eating, and I have a couple pounds I want to lose, okay? So, um, I'm out here exercising, but, you know, exercise is just part of it, okay? It's just part of it. Oh, you know, it's what you put in your mouth that tends to be where um, the weight comes. And so, I just love being healthy, and I want to be healthy, and I want to do everything to promote great health in my body and so that's what I'm out here doing every day and uh, so I have a few you know a couple pounds to lose and I'm working on it and actually with another youtuber friend who's also doing the same thing and she really is so inspiring and uh, I share her channel out a lot and because she has a great channel and uh, so yeah so exercise but it comes down to what you eat and how much you eat and you know everybody's body frame and metabolism is different and the older we get our metabolism most certainly can change and so let me run across here and so our metabolism does change so for me, you know, it's all like yesterday. You saw me, if you watched the video, I stopped and got green tomatoes. I called them fried green tomatoes, but they're actually green tomatoes at a vegetable stand. And they're beautiful, beautiful vegetable stand. And I'm gonna fry them up, but I'm not gonna use any oil. Okay, for me personally, I'm not suggesting anything, but I'm going to avoid the oil. And uh, because I think, Overall, I get plenty of it in other kinds of foods. So, um, and so I'll kind of fry those, not in my regular way. Normally, I, I fry them in a little bit of oil and I fry them with, dip them in flour and cornmeal, but I'm not gonna do that. I'm just gonna do them, my cast iron skillet kind of with nothing, maybe just a little bit of water on the bottom and that, so it'll kind of brown them a little bit. And of course, they won't be quite as yummy but they'll still taste good and I think they're healthy. So, I mean, I wanna keep my food healthy and the way I prepare it, because we can take healthy food and misprepare it and make it actually unhealthy food, okay? I don't wanna do that, I wanna keep my food healthy. Uh, about being vegan. You know, I have always say I'm a bad vegan because when I go out to a restaurant, I eat what I want, or to a friend's house, I eat what I want, and that's true. But at home, I, I'm vegan. But I'm kind of, you know, and that's probably the way I'll keep it. I don't eat a lot of meat, but I do eat some. I try to lean towards being vegan with some modifications. And I'm not against eating meat. 
but it's got to be good meat. Now, a lot of people are against it, and I respect that. I'm neither for it nor against it. I'm just what I am, you know. And so when I go out, you know, um, sometimes I just have fish or something like that. But, uh, um, you know, restaurants do make a lot of vegetarian foods. Usually not vegan, but vegetarian. And even if they're making vegetarian or vegan or whatever, often they're not anywhere near as good as the real deal. <laughs> Although those are the real deal too. I mean, I've, I've had vegan, vegetarian food out that was off the chain good. There's a place on Tybee Island that, you know, we have our little beach house. They will make it vegan. Oh my gosh, incredibly good, incredibly. So yes, I'm on a diet, but you know, I've always watched my weight. And it's just that I think it's so easy over the holidays, it's gonna be easy to put on weight. And people say, well, that's not the time to start. Well, you know, the time to start for me is now, anytime, always eating healthy. You know, I'll make a wonderful Thanksgiving dinner for my family and for everyone um, at the same time. And I'll have a little bit but I'm gonna primarily stick with the healthy, healthy stuff. Like last night when we went out to our biker bar, I had this awesome salad. Okay, I did, I did. Now, eating healthy may not always be fun, but you gotta make it fun. Sometimes difficult things can be made fun. Even being on a diet or whatever. Meet other people, meet new friends who are doing it too. Well, oh, you know, that's what I do you know, connect with other like-minded people with like-minded goals. You know, be healthy, be fit. I'm all about that, because after this past week, you all know what I went through. It was so scary for me. And so I just wanna do everything in my power. I'm still going, you know, gonna go see the surgeon about, like I talked about the breast reduction, um, to a cup C instead of, being an E, even because as you get older, carrying around excess, um, your frame changes, you know, and you want to be respectful to your body. This wave to my son. He works, he, he goes to college full time, but he also works three part time jobs. And one of his part time jobs is um, at the gate. Of a of the country club here, one of the country clubs, a very nice country club, and so he greets the people as they come in. So I wave to him. <laughs> He's such a good boy, good young man. So we we had a wonderful day yesterday, and it was just great to get away. And then, you, of course, y'all know the weekend before we went to Chibi Island, and that was wonderful. Even though it rained the whole time, that actually made it even better. It was wonderful. It felt like watching one of those YouTube videos with the rain coming down and you just want to relax and snuggle up. You know, you do. So my husband and I yesterday, um, we didn't do the trails, but well, it was like a trail, but it was a road. I, I wanted to stay on the road because it was going to get dark and I didn't want to be out somewhere where we didn't know, even though my husband's a great navigator. I just didn't, you know, plus I had just done my five mile run and I just wanted to enjoy the day. It was about enjoying the day rather than, you know, trying to be on the trail and all of that kind of stuff. So we had a wonderful day. So, you know, I'm not going to stop myself from eating out as long as we don't do it every night. Crosswalk, crosswalk, always be careful at the crosswalk. Okay, made it across. And so. So this is the thing, is that, uh, you know, when I eat out, I'm gonna eat what I want, okay? Within moderation. And, but when at home is where I'm really strict with myself, not with my family, you know, they can eat what they want, although I prepare wonderful, I prepare all kinds of foods at home, so healthy, and then all the good stuff too, <laughs> that they love. And, you know, I always promote great health, great well-being. So yes, I'm on a diet, but my diet is like a healthy way of eating, okay? That's how I'm doing it. So, yeah. So my way of doing it is just to eat very, very healthy, a lot of greens. And anyhow, and I don't recommend anything to anybody, so everybody has to find out what works for them. So I wanted to tell you that I think 
yesterday it was absolutely gorgeous with the leaves but i think that in the next day or two they're going to be all gone or pretty much gone or near gone from changing colors and i just loved it the colors were gorgeous if you haven't seen that video called north carolina it, one of my videos on my channel go look at it you're gonna love it the autumn leaves of north carolina you know and uh we live in the south you know tybee islands in georgia in the south way out there you now i meet so many nice people because i'm friendly but i also being friendly you meet some not nice people you know but the majority of people are really nice and then there are those other people we live in a big world with all kinds of people and you know i always say stay out of the wrong environments because the wrong environments will shoot bring in bad people but what happens when you're in a right environment and bad people enter it can happen workplaces even churches you know so but i think you're inviting them if you're in wrong places places that don't promote the right kind of situations so you want to put, find yourself in right environments, right situations to the best of your ability. Sometimes it can be locations, it can be where you live, you know, um, it can be where you work, it can be where you go to church. You got to find right places. No place will be absolutely perfect and, and even in right places you've got to be mindful. You know, you got to be mindful, extra mindful nowadays, especially extra mindful. Um, but overall, most people are pretty good. So I stay friendly, selectively friendly, but friendly. Everybody's going to become your friend. They may be nice to you. You may be nice to them, but you may not have things in common. Some people you were friends with, but you're not so close friends with now, you know, because things have changed and you still are nice and, you know, polite and still call yourself friends, but you maybe don't have the same kind of closeness. Other people you may not do things as much with, but you have the same closeness. You can pick up the phone anytime. I have a lot of friends, like different parts of the country or even could be the world. And yet I can connect with them anytime. And I have the same closeness, even if we haven't talked in a while. Other people, you kind of just lose. I don't know if it's a magic or whatever, but it's like you both go your separate ways nicely and you become Chris, what I call Christmas card friends. now. Christmas card friends. I have great friends that I'm Christmas card friends too, but there are people that you just keep in touch with that once a year because you kind of want to hold on to the relationship at some level, but you're not close like you were before. Other relationships, like I said, you can pick right back up anytime and have the same relationship. Okay, so you can see the trees and all the leaves. I mean, a lot of leaves have dropped. But I think in the next couple of days, a lot more are going to drop. And, uh, and when they do, I love to kick the leaves. And I do. I did yesterday. I love to kick the leaves around. It's fun. <laughs> when we lived in a different house, we had all these beautiful trees. And, oh, my gosh, our, our yard would be completely covered with leaves. And our kids were little. We'd all make these big pile of leaves. And then we'd all jump into them, you know. And then we would bag them up and take them to wherever... You take all the bags of leaves too, but it was so much fun. I think I might just slice them and bake them. My green tomatoes, you know, and bake them rather, you know, cause I'm not gonna, if I fry them, it's gonna be fried in water, not oil. Cause I'm staying away from oil. You know, like I said, you need oil, I guess. But I think most people consume way too much. And I think we get a lot of oil. And at least most people, I'm not going to say all people because everybody's different and eats different stuff. But for me, I don't think that's going to be a problem. So I try to, I, if I fry stuff, like when I fry an egg, if I eat an egg or whatever, or even for my family, I don't fry it in oil. I fry the eggs in a little tiny bit of water. Yeah, they taste, nothing tastes as good as like real sugar or putting frying stuff in oil and dipping it in flour and all that of course but when you when you make health a priority you also say i'll find my pleasure in different ways it doesn't have to be the same way that you get pleasure you know what i'm saying so i'd rather eat healthy don't wait your whole life to love being you
enjoy being you today. So many people wait until the end of their life and they go, oh, I really love myself and I don't want to lose myself now. But they've waited their whole life to love themselves. There's nothing wrong in loving yourself. That's not being arrogant or narcissistic. You know, when you love yourself, you're going to love other people if you have healthy love for yourself. If you have unhealthy love for yourself, then you're going to be a narcissist or something like that. But loving yourself, caring about yourself, valuing yourself, valuing who you are is so important. And don't wait, you know, and, and embrace you. Don't try to be an, a you that you think everybody wants you to be. Be you. You know, be your authentic, beautiful self. There are going to be people that love you, and there are going to be people that may even walk away. You know, when you're doing the right things and you're doing, making right choices, not everybody wants you to make right choices. I mean, I know a lot of times we think everybody wants us to make right choices, but some people like attracts like. If they're making a bunch of wrong choices in their life, they don't want you to make right choices. Someone who has no intent of going on a diet often, not always, but sometimes or often will resent somebody who is losing that weight, who is doing the work. Or someone who is trying to make a successful career, someone who's lazy and don't want to put forth the effort, they're not going to probably like it. They may even try to discourage you. You have to hang around winners, and winners are people that are going to encourage you in the right direction, not the wrong direction. Remember, there are people that will encourage you in any old direction. Some people tell you what you want to hear. Some people will tell you, um, you know, agree with you on anything, or they'll push you in a wrong direction for their own agenda. Make sure the people you're listening to are informed and hopeful they care about you. Just because someone cares about you and loves you doesn't mean that they're necessarily making the right decisions you know, or have the answers. And that's okay. They love you. That's what counts. And yet, just because we love them and they love us, doesn't mean that we necessarily have to take their suggestion. But we can appreciate their suggestion. We can appreciate them. We can say, you know, thank you. I may not agree with it or I may not do it, but I value that you gave me your suggestion because you care. Now, there's other people that don't care, you know. Then there are people that don't care, but they do have the right information, you know. So you got to kind of be very discerning when you're making decisions. You know, you really do. You really, really, really do. Yep, you do. <laughs> so, I love being out here. I do. I'm not running. Someone asked me, do you think your, your breast problems came from running? And I, I don't think so. But I think that the underwire, I think it still comes down to the underwire rubbed very hard because my breasts are large and somehow it must have got pulled up in a wrong position and rubbed under my breast and that's what caused all that. I am so grateful though. But you know, take care of your body, take care of you. I'm on my eating healthy, healthy, healthy. Healthy, healthy, healthy. <laughs> Embrace you. Not the you that you think everybody else wants to see. But embrace you. Love you. Be you. Be you. I'm me. Okay? I'm me. Most people, I think, really like me or love me or whatever. But there are people that don't. Okay? There's always going to be jealous people. People you don't connect with people that are critical, not corrective. Corrective is a good thing if it's done right. But, you know, there's a lot of critical people out there too. So very rarely will you find a really good corrective person, but boy, when you do, it's great. Okay, so, um, all this noise, you know, noise, noise in this beautiful area, you know, trucks and cars. This small town that we live in is a is a well-known golfing community. Now, it used to be tiny, and now it's like everybody wants to live here. I don't blame them, but it's like we're getting traffic that we never had before. You know what I'm saying? And uh, 
So, but that's life. That's anywhere, really, I guess. <laughs> so, yeah, that's life. And enjoy your life. Enjoy being you. Okay? Enjoy being you. Okay. So, I'm almost home. And it is so beautiful today. Just absolutely beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. And... Yeah, it's beautiful. This video is probably not quite as long as my normal videos. Uh, because... I am, I was talking on the phone. <laughs> I make a lot of phone calls when I'm out because it's my free time to do it. Because when I'm home, I don't, I usually have so much going on with college and everything. So I love the way the sun sets or the sun is right now. It's just so golden, you know, just beautiful. Just beautiful, beautiful, beautiful. Okay, I am almost home. But see how pretty and golden it is? It's just so pretty and so golden. Okay. Coming up towards where I live. Oh, that tree is so, so beautiful. Oh, they're all beautiful. So beautiful. So beautiful. Yep. could be the way the sun shines on these trees because those have leaves and then these ones don't. Okay, I feel like Goldilocks. I'm waiting for the three bears or the big bad wolf. <laughs> that barking dog could be the big bad wolf, I guess. I don't know. I stay clear away from it. Uh, but it does, it, people always say this, where I live looks like Goldilocks and the three bears. A little red riding hood you know and it does it does it is so beautiful back in here and then i go on my property so this is public right here technically public uh, where anybody can walk back here um and then we get on to our properties that are all uh fenced off yeah so see that the fences go along here to all of our properties, yeah, there's the big bad wolf. <laughs> so, yeah. Okay. So, I just. <sighs> Goldilocks and the three bears and Red Riding Hood. <laughs> I guess, you know, and, uh, okay, got a few layers, yep, and, yeah, that tree, it's lost its leaves now, most of them, remember in my other videos, I showed how pretty they were, but, yeah, they're almost all gone now, almost all gone, yep, okay, I am home, I am home, I am home. Ah, beautiful, beautiful day. Well, thank you for coming along for Wisdom on the Run. It was a shorter Wisdom on the Run. And like I said, I'll do them some of the time, maybe not all the time. Like one of my friends said on social media, it's like it's a mini series. <laughs> I guess that could very well be. May God bless you. Bless you, and I wish you a great day, and I do hope you like, share, subscribe, okay? I really do. I appreciate it. Thank you. Talk to y'all soon. Bye-bye.